So Russell, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I would love for you, because I know that originally when we met that, that um, there were a total of uh, quite a few agents that you interviewed. Yeah. So um, why did you end up picking, picking me and picking the Corporate Connection? Uh, it was very simple. And I was very surprised and I, um, when um, my house, I only owned it for t under two years when I decided to put it up for mm -hmm. sale. And um, after interviewing like five different realtors, not one of them, I was planning on selling it and closing ASAP mm -hmm. with, you know, within four weeks. And I think that was the end of September. And no one told me that they, that I would have to pay um, Capital, capital gains. gains taxes for it, and that and I would think that even though they're not, you know, attorneys or tax attorneys mm -hmm. or accountants, it's their business, and they should know, and they should have been able to look at it and say because they all asked when I bought the house, mm -hmm. and they obviously if they looked did their research, they would have seen it in the MLS, or and they would have known that I had bought it, and it would have been less than two years, and no one told me that, and. I wouldn't have found out until closing and they'd be like, oh yeah. Right, right. And so I think that it's either they were not knowledgeable or they were just trying to get the contract and didn't care. Right, right, which is which is so important. And that's yeah. why I was like, even like you said, like the fine line of, well, we're not an accountant, but like I said to you, you know, well, just check with your accountant, which yeah. you did, Yeah. right? And and that worked out so that you were closing. That would have cost me more than the commission. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and then the, there was a problem the, with the measurement of your house, too, I remember, you know, because you had the extra oh, foot. Yeah, because no one was coming up with it because it was a model home. And they had it, whatever you, if you looked on Zillow or any of the other uh, commercially available mm -hmm. real Website. estate sites, it had the base model. Right. Um, which was like 18, nine, it was under 1900 square feet or something, wasn't it? 1850, like but yep. then, you know, of course, then there's a bonus room. Mm -hmm. and the house had an extension. Right. Um, so there was a lot of weird things that whatever did not show up in the MLS. Right. That, but, so, oops. That's okay. Anyway, that, uh, yeah, so it didn't show up in the MLS or, and, um, yeah, so that just, you know, was, I don't know how you, you figured it out or yeah 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 I mean, so we, we knew there's something funny about the the measurements and then we went to like we said county print and in the end you ended up measuring the extra square, square, extra, foot, yeah. Yeah, 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 square footage to get it right you know which is important um, you certainly don't want to be a 1900 square foot house when you can be over you yeah. know 23 well, a, well, yeah, a title couple. company comes in and say no is it, yeah <laughs> this is not right exactly exactly um, so, so, so you work. went through the process with with all of us, and we have the you know Chris, the TC, and Hannah, and you know. So, how overall, how was the experience? Uh, they're very organized. Mm -hmm. uh, weekly updates from you, mm -hmm. procedures yesterday. Um, the you know all the little uh, things that came up, mm -hmm. and that Chris handled, and uh, you know told me to get this or get that, and right. um, o H O A. I don't want to call it a violation, but right. uh, some they had concern about that. I never knew it was a violation. That, they, that was just a letter I received because they always send out letters. And, sure, sure. And neighbor, everyone in the neighborhood was complaining about, you know, they're watering their grass because it was like the summer. I mean, the rainy season started late this year. Right. And um, we, we don't have, um, people are complaining because we don't have uh, reclaimed water in the neighborhood yet. Right. So... Everyone was complaining, you know. Well, I will say about, about I will say about your house. Yours is the first house I ever came to where it was probably like a monsoon that night. I came and then the catfish oh, went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was. <laughs> that, I've never seen never, that before. Yeah, I've the, never, we came up out of the water because the, the drainage pond is right behind it. Right. Well, well, two doors down. And that was a bad storm that day. That was the yeah. word. I've never seen that. No, I haven't ever seen a storm, storm so. that bad. So now your plans are to move um, into a quiet, a commu quiet community, 55 and older, yeah. building. And so that's all exciting. Yeah, very excited. And, you know, build it, get it the house the way I like it. Yep. And you're so, a cook. So and, down, that, and downsizing it a lot. So I didn't, this is, that, that was a four bedroom house. Right. It was bought, hoping that my son would finish college and go to med school mm -hmm. at Lake Nona, UCF, but he'll pursue that elsewhere. Mm. Um, he's going to start his career first and then go back to that. So there was no reason to, for me to, 
to a big family neighborhood. Right, right, right. And not 55 and older. Right. Aww. So, it, you know, but it was good. And then you have a, a funny thing is that we, you lived in a town I grew up with in for yeah. a brief time, right? Yeah, it was my f- well, first uh, house with my uh, ex-wife and um, it was an apartment she had on, up on Undercliff Avenue. Oh, which is so, I grew up yeah, on Undercliff, Undercliff Avenue, yeah. which is so funny. Yeah, so in the, you know, because of your sister. I, yeah. This, it, you know, I just remembered it because, you know, I, I watched Shark Tank mm-hmm. and I, um, and, I, and she talked about it once in one of her bios that they did. So mm-hmm. um, when I, you told me about her, I said, oh, yeah, you, you lived right. I lived in your town. That's that's nuts. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. It was a nice, nice place to start. Yeah, it yeah. was. We uh, we lived there and then from there we bought our first house in like 1995, I think, oh, wow. a year after we were married. Mm-hmm. So, wow. well, congratulations. And I do appreciate you taking the time to do this for me. Yeah. For us. Well, no problem. All right. Please call us at 1 844 Corcoran or 407 953 9118 or visit us online at thecorcoranconnection.com. <laughs>